Thrifty Southerner. I'm back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. This is my little baby bear bear or baron. He wanted to come get in my lap, so I am having him in my lap because he was barking. So I uh, hope y'all are all doing great tonight. I'm sure you can tell that I have not taken my Christmas decorations down yet, but I thought it was a little too late to actually be in front of the tree, which is still up. So anyway, um, I tried to powder my nose and everything, but if I look red, my nose looks puffy. It's because I've been bawling my eyes out because right before I sat down to film this video, the lady who cremated the remains uh, of our dog Klaus called me and said they were ready and asked if she could bring them by. I thought I was gonna get them tomorrow, but I got them tonight along with his paw print that we had ordered. And uh, it was just really, really emotional to have him back. So uh, he's on our mantle close to the part of the couch where he used to lie and sit in front of the fire. So uh, it's glad, good to have him, him home, but I uh, didn't really intend on having that emotional moment right before I filmed. So, and one of my other dogs is currently bonging food out of his bowl because he doesn't like to eat it out of the bowl. So anyway, sorry about that. Alrighty, so let's get started. Uh, small haul again, but uh, found some pretty good stuff. So the first thing I found was I went to a town about 30 miles away from me. I actually went to visit my stepmom and dad in a town about an hour away and I stopped halfway at their Goodwill and scored on this. It is a vintage coach. It's in really, really good condition. The only thing it does not have is the coach hang tag. And I paid, I paid $3.99 for it, which I thought was an awesome deal. Let me see if I can pull the creed out. And I did check it. It is authentic. As far as I can tell, the numbers match up. Um, the hardware is solid brass. Everything looks to be kosher. So, uh, really was excited about that. It's a bummer that it didn't have the tag, but I know you can buy those on eBay. So, uh, you know, if somebody wanted to do that, they could. So that's that. It does, I'm noticing, and I don't think it had this when I bought it. So I think I need to start taking stuff out of the bags. It's got a little scrape, not a scrape, but like a little nick right there, but I have not treated it with anything yet. So um, that'll look a lot better once I treat it. But I don't think that was there when I purchased it. So I'm just going to start taking stuff out of the bags and piling it up. All right. So I found that, and then I also found this, and it was $3.99 too, and I don't know, it's cute, but uh, I don't know, I don't know if it'll sell or not. Anyway, it's a Juicy Couture wallet. It's in excellent condition. It is missing a couple of the rhinestones my husband pointed out, but you can buy those at Michael's and like glue them back on. In excellent condition. Looks like it's barely been used. Um, Zipper pocket, all of that. It's got the J on the back. And this little detail. And it's like a uh, velour-ish kind of fabric. But like a little fuzzier than velour. Like almost like real short faux fur. Like fake pony hair kind of thing. Anyway. So that's that. Found those at that store. Then, what did I get? Oh, and I also found this little shirt. So, as y'all know, I'm pretty sure I've said where I, the state that I live in. So, I live in Louisiana. And I thought this shirt was super cute. I usually don't wear stuff like this, but I saw it and I was like, that's really cute. And I think the shirt was like two bucks. So, it's real thin. Anyway, love, and then it's got the state of Louisiana, so. All right, so that was the other thing I found there. So then I stopped at my Goodwill, and one day I was in there, I picked this up for myself. It is just a galaxy tank. I think this is a cute uh, 
print with the gap stars and everything. And I've never seen one that has like the stripes on it. And it's a real big tank. So I'm hoping in the summertime, once I lose a little bit of weight and get in a little bit better shape, because I've got to start working out again, um, that I'll be able to wear it with like leggings or something. Anyway, it was two bucks as well. So then I stopped in at that same Goodwill again. And I've been watching a lady, and I meant before I filmed this to actually look her up so I could tell y'all what her name is. But she is, um, I don't know. I'll tell y'all what her channel is next time because I've mentioned her before and said, oh, I'll tell you her channel next time, and I forgot to look. But anyway, she sells a lot of, um, she sells a lot of stuff on eBay, and she sells a lot of stuff on Poshmark, but she also sells some stuff on Etsy. And I had seen a lot of really awesome, um, like period stuff, like 50s shoes and stuff, and wondered if anybody bought those, and there's tons of rockabilly people and that kind of thing, and she sells them on Etsy. And so I actually picked these up. They're Mason Shoe Company, and they're a bigger size, a nine and a half, which I thought would be good because I know it's harder to find larger size shoes from this era, So, and they're in excellent condition. Excellent condition. The soles have, I don't even know if they've ever been worn. Because they've got that sole that would scrape up really easily. So, I thought these were a great find. And I get, uh, they're 50s probably, 40s, 50s. Let's see. I don't know. But anyway, they're vintage for sure. And so, I'm going to try my hand on Etsy. I don't have an Etsy account yet. But uh, I think I'm going to set one up and see how these sell. And if they sell well, I often see these kind of shoes that are in great condition. So I'll let y'all know how that goes. Well, I guess you'll know if you see me purchasing more of that kind of stuff. And again, y'all, I'm sorry if my energy level is low. I'm just strained from that emotional thing. It's not like I've been a basket case for the last week and a half. It comes, you know, where I'll get upset. I may go a whole day and I won't, you know, I'll think about it, but I won't get upset about it. But seeing his paw print and seeing his box of ashes and everything just, you know, it just is what it is. So I apologize. I'll try to be more chipper next week for y'all. So at the other, at the same one, found those. And then I also found these for myself, which I think are really cute. And they're like Harachis. And they're brand new. I actually still have. Oh, okay. Um, where was it? They had a tag on them. Yeah. I actually still have the original part of a tag on them. I assume somebody got them like went to Brazil and got them for their friend and their friend didn't like them. But anyway, they're from Brazil and I thought they were super cute. Um, like to throw on in the summertime if you haven't painted your toenails or something, you know, and you can still wear them with like little dresses or shorts. And they were gray, so they were half, so they were two. They were $2 and I didn't even say. These Mason uh, shoes were four, which I thought was still a great deal. That's that. And then today I had to go into East Texas to go to Aldi grocery shopping. And it's about a little more than an hour away. And I go like every couple of months and stock up on like organic snacks and stuff. They have really good prices on that stuff. Um, so I went and I decided to make a day of it. And I went to some thrift stores there and I found nothing. <laughs> um, except I went to a Goodwill and I happened to ask if there were any other thrift stores close by. And she said, yeah, one called Rags to Riches. Well, I looked it up on Google, and I couldn't find an address. So I said, well, do you know where it is? And she said, yeah, it's actually right down the street, by the jalapeno pepper, whatever, the restaurant. And uh, so I drove out there and slowed down, and, like, this place didn't have a sign or anything. I mean, you could kind of tell it was a thrift store, but there was no sign that said Rags to Riches, no nothing. If I had not been looking for it, I never would have seen it. So stop there. And uh, was looking around and found this bag in a dollar bin. And it's one of those seatbelt bags. Now, I know there's a certain brand, I think it's called Harvey's, that makes these and they resell really well. Um, this does not have a Harvey's tag on it, but I need to see what you know what it's supposed to look like because this is an extremely high quality made bag like this part is leather the pull 
is leather that's been sealed. Um, there's leather trim around this. Um, it does have the same bottoms. I just did like a cursory search of how much these kind of bags sold for. And it's got all of that, so I need to go in and look a little closer. It does have a couple spots on it, but for a buck, I thought I'd take a chance. So it remains to be seen whether or not this is actually a Harvey bag. And if it even matters, I don't know. You, They may just all sell for that, but that's what I saw when I did like a quick search on Poshmark. So uh, I'll let y'all know if I find out that that is a Harvey. I think that's what they are, but anyway, I might be wrong about that. Okay. So I found that one, and then I went up to the front and just happened to, you know, I just asked her, hey, do you have a, a case where you have, like, nicer bags and stuff? And she said, yeah, we do. And it was, like, around the corner. I don't even know if I ever would, if I would have gone over there and looked. It was, like, the back side of the register, like, close to a corner. Anyway, so she had some bags, and she pulled them out. And the first one I saw were a couple of vintage, co vintage coaches. And the first one was not authentic, I don't think, based on the tag and some other things I noticed. So I did not go for that one. This one I did get, and it is a very dark navy blue. So this was just the week of the vintage coaches, I guess. $12, which I thought was a great deal. And uh, they had it stuffed. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, my dog's laying in my lap, and every time the purse strap hits him, he's like, ooh, he's a bit of a, he's a little special anyway. He's, he's kind of, he's kind of a special dog. All right, so this interior pocket doesn't come out, but I did match up the, there's the creed, I, hope, I don't know if y'all can see that. I did match up the number with the um, bag. It does have the coach tag, which is awesome. Um, you can tell this is real brass because it's starting to get some oxidation on it. And, uh, but other than that, it's in great condition. It did have some scratches and the leather is really, really dry. So I did just now when I was waiting for the lady to come and drop off the ashes, um, just kind of condition this and it looks a lot better. I just did this front flap. So here's the back. It, it still needs some more work. And it did have like some corrosion around here from the brass, but I was able to just wipe that right off. So, um, I thought that was a good deal. And then she was putting all the purses back and I thought I had seen all of them. Hold on. I always notice things that I did not notice when I purchase these things when I'm in here under this light talking to y'all. But anyway, it was just a little spot that I think will come out. So, and then she dropped this and I'm like, oh, I didn't even see this one in the case, but she was just pulling them all out. And it's a Dooney, super cute nautical themed Dooney. It's not stuffed, but let me see if I can put some paper in it to show y'all the shape that it has. It's super cute. Too small for me, so I'll be selling it for sure. But uh, let's see. Yeah, it's got a cute shape too. It's like a tiny hobo. Not tiny, it's not tiny. For reference, uh, super cute in great condition. Great condition. I did when I flipped it over, I noticed that little spot, but I think it's like toothpaste or something. So, um, but I'm, I'm gonna clean the whole bag anyway, so that'll come right off. And yes, I did lick my finger <laughs> to see if it would rub off, but I'm gonna clean the whole bag. I promise somebody's not gonna get my spit. I'm a mommy, I'm used to like licking my thumb and you know. Anyway, tassels, got the dooney here. I mean, it's in great condition, great condition. And then the inside, it's just like your regular dooney. It's your little red or pink. I don't even know. It's, like, it's almost like a tiny checkerboard. Most of them are like this on the inside. And this one did not have a, I'm oh, sorry, I left a piece in there. This one did not have a tag, and so the lady was like, uh, just, what about 10? And I was like, okay. I thought that was fair. Here's your Jimmy tag. It's definitely authentic. So, I'm glad that I happened to ask that lady, 
if she knew of any other thrift stores because there's no way I ever would have known that was there. And um, I would have come home empty handed all uh, other than my Aldi stuff. But I would have come, because I went to about six other, seven other thrift stores and found nothing at any of them. I did find a Longchamp La Pliage, which is like, a, if you don't know what that is, it's like a canvas tote with leather trim that folds into itself and folds into like a little envelope looking thing. Um, and it was leather and it was a really good fake, but it had started to rip. I, I don't have a tote to show, but it started to kind of rip the leather and I was like, well, I can fix that. And then I started, I was like, well, you know what? Let me just make sure this is real. And the more research I did, I could see that it wasn't real because I had it marked at $3.99 and I was tempted to get it anyway. And if it had been in good condition, I have to admit, I would have gotten it anyway, but I didn't want to get a faux Longchamp tote actually repaired because like that, then it would have added like 10 bucks to the price. And anyway, I chose not to get it. And there was another big Buddha canvas tote that was really cute and had adjustable straps. But uh, I looked up the retail on it and, and, and people were selling them for like 20 bucks and it was like 7 dollars So I was like, eh. but it was super cute. So those were the only other things that I even saw. And then there's uh, these thrift stores. I was going to say like a chain, but it's not. It's like a group of thrift stores. And uh, they always get really good stuff, but they market like way up, way up. Like coach purses for like, the ones that have the C's on them that are several years years old with the uh, like the um, cursive coach for like eighty and ninety dollars. I'm like, that's high retail for something like that. So anyway, I went there anyway just to see, you know, because they do sometimes miss stuff, and that is where I found the La Pliage and the Big Buddha bag at one of those. But I went to another three and didn't find anything, as well as some really shady Goodwills that had nothing in them. So. Um, anyway, that's my haul this week, and uh, if anybody is interested in any of this stuff and wants more to know more questions or anything like that, I do sell on Poshmark, I do sell on eBay sometimes, but uh, I always give my best price to my group members on Facebook, and the group is Thrifty Southerner Finds. It is a closed group. You'll have to go in, ask to be added. I will add you. I will approve you. And then um, you can ask any questions that you want. And if this is, no, 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 buddy. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm so glad you're watching. If you like these kind of videos, I do one once a week. And uh, so if you like these, please subscribe. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. To all my new subscribers, I got quite a few new subscribers last week. Welcome, I'm so glad to have you. And uh, I promise I'm not a whiny mess every week. Uh, it's just been, a crazy all of December was pretty nuts for me so uh, anyway but I'm extremely blessed it was nothing earth-shattering so just a lot going on and one thing after another so I'm hoping January is gonna calm down 2017 is gonna be a good year 2016 was not a particularly bad year for me just December was wild and crazy um, anyway so uh, I guess I'll stop rambling now and uh, Tell y'all all thanks for watching, and until next week, y'all keep it thrifty.